Hello everybody. I have a Simpson 260 Series 5 and I'm trying to repair. For the most part everything seems to be working okay with the exception of the resistance readings. And I'm getting no resistance readings on R times 1, R times 100, or R times 10,000. And I've been doing some troubleshooting on this. I've tracked it down to the zero ohm adjust potentiometer, which is this one. Uh, don't freak out everyone, I've removed a resistor right here, which is also way out of the spec. This resistor here was uh, almost two times the resistance reading it was supposed to be. More on that later. Uh, but uh, the first problem is this potentiometer. And so I thought I'd double check to see whether I could just clean it up and repair it, and I'm going to show you what I found. Well, the first thing I found is that it appears to be open. This is a 10K pot, and if I turn it full counterclockwise or full clockwise, you can see over here on my digital meter that I have an open circuit. And so it's open circuit. So let's investigate further. So if you look really closely here, you can see that the resistive film, you see, see where in the arc part it's sort of shiny, but then at the ends where it connects to the two outside terminals, you can see there's no, it's actually no resistive film there. So it's an open circuit, and uh, cleaning it up is not going to solve anything. There's nothing to clean up. It's, the resistive film is totally deteriorated away. This meter is, I think, probably 40 years old, maybe older than that. So I'm going to replace this potentiometer and I'm also going to replace uh, the resistor that I've removed from right here which is R4. That resistor is supposed to be 117.7K <clears throat> and it's reading about almost twice that value, 334K. My plan is to modify this potentiometer and replace it. Fortunately there are only two terminals that are used so I don't have to line up all three. I have to elongate, I have to enlarge the mounting hole slightly, just a few thousandths. And uh, fortunately this has a long shaft. I've already tested the potentiometer with uh, some jumper clips and a new potentiometer solves my R times 1 and my R times 100 settings so it works properly on R times 1 and R times 100 and hopefully once I get this resistor replaced here uh, the R times 10,000 will work. Uh, what my plan is it's just to use three resistors three metal film three watt precision resistors uh, at 100K, 15K and 2.7K so that'll give me 17.7 uh, ohms. And I received my resistors today and here they are. I've connected three 3 watt 1% tolerance metal film resistors in series. And I'm probably going to put a drop of hot glue right down in there to make sure that I don't get a short it's not likely I will from the meter being uh, handled, but just to be safe, I'll put a little drop of hot glue there. That'll maintain the integrity of the spacing between the uh, wire leads and prevent any shorting. Pick three watt only because I wanted to put the biggest resistors I can get in this space. It was not clear to me what the original wattage rating was of the resistors, so I thought in the interest of um, overkill more than anything else, put the biggest thing I could fit in. So these are 3 watt, the 2 watts are just slightly smaller and I thought we'd just take a little reading here, let me show you what my resistance is. So according to my uh, very inexpensive meter here, the resistance is somewhere around one. 
118 ohms, 117.9, somewhere in that range. Uh, so I was trying to get to 117.7, that's pretty close. And if I just use my other slightly more sophisticated and probably more accurate meter, if I go to my trusty meter, I'm showing 117.9. So all in all, a good experiment, got me, uh, my target was 117.7, got it to 117.9. This happens to be a 10K ohm potentiometer. I've shortened the shaft by roughly a quarter inch, it was a quarter inch too long. And I ground, I've ground a flat into it, so that, will, so that the original knob will fit. That also required me to... enlarge this hole just ever so slightly. I just run my deburring tool inside here. I elongated this hole just a little bit. And then I took my knife and I had to enlarge this anti-rotation tank slot for this little tab you see right there by my thumb. That tab goes down into the slot. fits very nicely now and then uh, I have to connect two wires to these two connections try to clear that resistor and attach it to the two holes on the printed circuit board and solder on the other side my connections are all made to the pot you can see you can see two wires there. So I've got my meter all back together again. And prior to this, everything was working except the resistance. So here you can see that I'm on R times uh, 10,000. I can zero it nicely. R times uh, 100 and R times 1. So I have all the resistance scales working beautifully. I will tell you I did run into one little problem and that is once I got my 117.7k ohm resistors in and the new 0 ohm potentiometer adjust, I could not get full scale reading on the R times 10,000. R times 1 and R times uh, 100 work just fine, but for some reason R times 10,000, I can only get it up to you know, maybe half scale or a little beyond that. So search and search and search, all the solder connections are correct, all the circuitry was correct, all the resistances were correct, and uh, decided to study the schematic a little bit further. And lo and behold, so after studying the schematic a little further, you can see right here that when the selector switch is in R times 1 or, or R times 100, the 6 volt battery circuit is not uh, in the circuit. So the 6 volt battery for pen light batteries in this case, four double A's, those four double A's are not in the circuit and are not used until you go to R times 10,000. And as it turns out, I had a um, uh, a questionable battery connection, a little bit of corrosion. Uh, like I say, this is a really old meter, and so there's quite a bit of corrosion there, but I cleaned up the corrosion, resoldered the connections, and once I had a clean 6 volts here, uh, the R times 10,000 scale works perfectly. So, that's how you do it. If uh, if you found this entertaining or you uh, learned something from it or just enjoyed watching it, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.